this uh, vote and this outcome of these elections is for me a signal of strength for our family. And this is necessary because the uh, coming 12 months and the next two and a half years will be decisive for the European Union. Manfred Weber, after he was reconfirmed as chairman of the EPP group for another two and a half year term. The leadership vote by the group's more than 200 MEPs also elected 10 vice chairs, again split evenly between women and men. The vote comes at a highly challenging moment for the EU, facing still high unemployment, terrorist jitters, a migrant crisis and other issues. Midway toward the 2019 European elections, the largest party group and its allies must produce concrete results or face the risk of a further rise in populist parties. For me, as an EPP group leader, the main message is that we have to pick up the people's interests, the people's uh, points which they are concerned of very openly, very concretely. In the leadership election, each MEP was to vote with secret ballot for a minimum of seven and a maximum of ten candidates, with 11 MEPs in the running. Esteban González Pons of Spain received the most votes. He is on the Parliament Committees for Budget as well as Constitutional Affairs and is on the delegation to the Parliamentary Assembly for the Mediterranean. Françoise Grosstet of France is on Parliament's Committee on the Environment, Public Health and Food Safety. She's also on the special panel investigating the auto emissions scandal. And she is on the delegation for EU-Russian relations. Lara Comi of Italy is on the Committee on Internal Market and Consumer Protection and on the delegation for EU-US relations. Esther de Lange of the Netherlands is on the Economic and Monetary Affairs Committee and on the special panel investigating money laundering and tax evasion. She's also on the delegation for EU-Russian relations. Paolo Rangel of Portugal is vice chair of the Committee on Constitutional Affairs and chairs the delegation for relations with Brazil. Maria Gabriel of Bulgaria is on the Civil Liberties, Justice and Home Affairs Committee and on the delegations for relations with the Maghreb, the Mediterranean and the African, Caribbean and Pacific Nations or ACP. Sandra Kalniete of Latvia is on the Foreign Affairs Committee as well as delegations for relations with Ukraine and with Asian nations. Tadeusz Zwiewka of Poland is on the Legal Affairs Committee and a substitute member of the Culture and Education Committee. Marian Jean Marinescu of Romania is a member of Parliament's Committees on Transport and Tourism as well as the Auto Emissions Special Panel. He's also on the delegation for EU-Serbia relations. Finally, Jozef Shayer of Hungary is on the Legal Affairs Committee and also serves on the delegation for EU-US relations. Mr. Weber and his team of vice chairs combine talents and experience from across Europe. Their task, to help spur growth and job creation, along with addressing consumer, security, environmental and other concerns. The pressure's on. Says Weber, you don't get elected for the success of the past, but for the future. Find out more about the activities of the largest political force in Parliament by checking eppgroup.eu.